you. Okay, Taylor, thanks for that. We turn out a groundbreaking technology made here in Hampton Roads that will soon head to the moon. So for several years, researchers at NASA Langley worked to develop equipment to improve landings in space. Casey Baylor has shown us how it all works. What may seem like tiny equipment will make a big impact in space. We've put decades of time, blood, sweat, and tears into building these things. Researchers at NASA Langley developed new technology that will give us a closer look at what's up above. For nearly 20 years, Farzine Amzajurian has worked on the navigation Doppler LiDAR. And it provides the data that is necessary for navigating the, the, the spacecraft to the landing site. He compares it to how we use a GPS to get to our destination. When these laser beams uh, exit these lenses, and these pencil beams go to the ground, uh, it's going to cause a Doppler shift. And that's how they'll measure the spacecraft's velocity. It's one of the two pieces of technology headed to the moon. The other, stereo cameras for lunar plume surface studies, which is also referred to as scalps. It's an array of small cameras that are located on the bottom of a lunar lander that will collect images of the lunar surface beneath the lander. Olivia Tiro with the Scalps photogrammetry team says they want to understand the effects rocket plumes have on the moon or on other planets like Mars. And be able to model them accurately so that we can predict uh, the effects of these landings, particularly for our larger Artemis scale landers. Researchers say this equipment will help make human landings safer, ultimately helping them to unlock the mysteries of the universe. In Hampton, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News.